Hey everyone. Well, this Keurig um, is having some restriction problems, water restriction problems, when making coffee. Uh, the reservoir, as you can see, is drained right now. Going to go in and see the internal workings of this uh, Keurig coffee maker and see if I can figure out exactly what happens to uh, such a unit that makes it um, clog up. So let's dig in. Okay, we have the reservoir taken away and uh, I'll take off the bottom and I'm hoping that this is going to expose this whole jacket and uh, expose the the internals, all the internals. I hope we'll be able to see everything by removing this, but we'll soon see what's going to come apart and what's not. Okay, I've removed uh, three, four, five screws, and you just basically uh, pull this back, and that exposes the internals. Now I need to dig a bit further because it looks like everything's pretty well locked inside here. So I'm just going to investigate further as to what may be causing this to scale up and slow down. Maybe it's just a pump getting worn out. And you know, it's just a small pump. As you can see, that's probably the pump right there. It's possibly just the pump is getting weak, but it seems like I clean it and it works pretty good. But then it clogs up and it gets very slow soon afterwards. Anyway, I'm going to dig in a bit deeper. Okay, I've let go uh, the reservoir intake. The reservoir is upside down now, of course, the, just the intake, but the water comes into here and the pump pumps it in, of course, according as it needs it. And um, if we look inside here, that's so dead, so dark down there, let me get a flashlight. There's a small line, it's like a quarter inch line, you can see right, well I can see it, but you can't. There it is there. Small line. This is really like a three-handed job. Right there. That there is uh, just a, a vent overflow. It goes to uh, right there. Just an overflow, kind of like a bleed of some sort. But there's two more shunts that comes off this pump. On the top of this pump, you see the motor here. The motor is fine. I checked it, and it's uh, fine. But um, if I could get my light shining, I'm using my chin as a thing. You see, there's two filters. You see it like power saw filters, like fuel filters. The bigger area on the pump. That is the issue. They have some sort of fil filtration hooked up to the pump, and that is where the restriction is caused. There's filtration there, of course, and there's no way you can get anything to go through that. If it's a filter, it has to be replaced. You clear it up a little bit, but it obviously it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And you see there's two there. So there it is, folks. Um, I got to go online and see if I can find filters for this model of Keurig. That is the issue. Obvious. Obvious issue. It's definitely the issue. That's why it kept getting worse and worse, because the filters, they're not going to clean itself. There's no way you can clean it. You can continue on, and that's why as we clean and decalcify and whatever, delime or descale, of course the filters aren't going to clear. They're going to get worse and worse and eventually block, constrict completely. So there it is folks. I'm going to see if I can order a set of filters and uh, get in and replace them filters and get this Keurig back to working again. Uh, there's the heating coil. That's the place where all the water gets heated. A little flicker on to go here because of the light. Sorry about that. So, yeah. All right. 
fun times coming up, folks. Stay tuned for part two if I can get filters for this uh, Keurig. And uh, thank you for watching.